what's going on guys welcome back to the channel I'm Rob this is Rob Kern Garage today we're gonna relocate the battery from its original space that was a box down below here that I've removed and we're going to use the original battery tray to mount the battery right here so let's get into it first thing we're gonna do is disassemble the battery tray it's a six millimeter Allen socket and there's two bolts right down in the middle. Next, we're going to grind off these welds and remove these dampers. So this wasn't as easy as it looks. Um, I'll show you here. It looks like just four stitch welds. Don't know if you'll get it. There's actually a plate. All the way here that it's welded. So I got to get underneath see where it's pulling up so I gotta get underneath and get that whole thing out it'll take a little bit of time but I honestly think this is gonna be the best looking way to go See that? We're almost there.
One more to go. Have to trim this off and uh, grind it down, sand it. Of course, naturally, we got to paint it too. Everything brand new, always. Okay, it's the next day. I'll show you where we're at. I've got the box painted and sitting where I want it to. Basically, each of these small holes, I have a mark. I'm gonna grind it down and that's where I'm gonna weld. I'll do a little stitch on each side of all five of these holes. And I'm going to drill a hole here so that I can retain the factory tie down, which I have cleaned up and painted over here. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get into it. I got the tray mounted. I'll show you what I did to retain the stock tie. I found a spare nut that matched the threads and I drilled through and it's just gonna bolt down like that. And then the rest of these spots will all get welded. So I'm gonna measure two and a half inches off of each end and that'll keep it square to the frame. And yeah, we're almost done.
battery's dry, we're gonna drop the battery in. I'll show you the finished product and that's it. There's the finished product. No cutting cables, no having to move anything. Uh, all I had to do was rebend this line, which was easy. This one's got the power's got plenty of plenty of room to move around. If you had to, you can undo a clip back here, and you got more. But as is, that sits perfectly, and I'm super happy with it. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Don't miss it. It'll be the exhaust install and the first sound clip. I still haven't heard it yet. I just finished it a little while ago, so I'm excited about that. So I'll catch you in the next one.